So why are lung problems such a big issue in cattle? The big one being pneumonia, the biggest killer of cattle in Ireland and the UK today. Think about it, no other farm animal species out there or any domestic species um, encounters as many problems as cattle do when it comes to the respiratory system. So why is it? Very simply, cattle lungs are under constant pressure because lung capacity per unit body weight of all domestic species is smallest in cattle. So their lungs are working seriously hard all the time versus other species. If we look at some other species, humans, I'm 80 kilos, I have six liters of lung capacity. Cattle have twice the amount of lung capacity I have, but that lung capacity has to power, you know, some of my suckler cows there, seven, 800 kilos. So they're working much, much harder. Horses, huge animals, known for their athletic abilities and their endurance, which all comes back to the strength of the respiratory system. They've got much bigger lungs, huge big lungs to power all that muscle and to achieve that performance that we see in the likes of race horses or sports horses, okay? So when we stress cattle, immunity in the respiratory system weakens and we have infections, okay? What do stressors look like? Very simply, moving animals, transporting animals, weaning calves, changing diets, going to the mart, bad weather, bullying, basically anything that changes um, a bovine's normal routine is a stressor. So lungworm is a huge stressor on the lungs. It's a direct stressor on the respiratory system. And obviously with lungworm we have a slippery slope where we have um, you know, clinical hoose, the cough or husk, we have yields start to drop if we're weighing cattle, Thrive might go, um, then we see body condition going. If we're in breeding season, we'll have repeats. But if we let that go long enough, we let that lungworm problem go long enough, we'll have an infection, we'll have pneumonia, okay? So we have to keep bovines stress-free from a respiratory point of view. I always say this, when humans think about stressed cattle, we think about, you know, a Saturday afternoon, rain's forecast, we're trying to get all the animals weighed or dosed or vaccinated or whatever and they're shouting and there's sticks flying and there's bawling from humans and the cattle and we're trying to get them up the crush and they won't go and the animals look physically stressed. Yes they are stressed but cattle don't have to look stressed to be stressed. Stress in cattle is a hormonal state where we have spikes in certain hormones that we don't want to spike that weaken the immune system and as I said that can come very simply from putting cattle on a lorry and bringing them five miles up the road and dropping them off. They might walk down, they look happy out, but inside they're stressed and their immune system is weakened. And in the coming days, we can often see the effects of that stress in you know, clinical respiratory problems. 